and I wrote a poem that yes, got recorded in a book called A Different Light and it was published by the National Library of Congress and um, it's in a compilation of poems and I'd like to um, read it to you now. I, I am the author, I am the poet. I am a Jewish mother of two. Hear my fervent plea and prayer. I am a victim of secular justice and a monumental travesty of justice is in the air everywhere. The fruits of my womb have been unlawfully severed from me before I could make the harvest ripe and sweet. Now my days go by unfulfilled and incomplete. I am a mother under siege in America. My life has become bittersweet, filled with bureaucracy. The, the superior court's verdict did not uphold democracy. Please let my voice take a final stand to speak truth in this great democratic land. United we stand, divided we fall. I was a mother on trial and I did my best to achieve the goal that I set out in this heartfelt poem. Now those two children are tw age 29 and age 26. My older one is a girl and her name is Andrea Savetnik. The younger child that's 26 is a mechanical engineer, supposedly, and he lives in Illinois in a little town I believe called Wheaton or Warrenville and he works for a company I think called Navistar at a beginning mechanical engineering position. His name is Scott David Savetnik. Um, after my divorce from their father, I met a businessman from the southeast, from the state of North Carolina. I remarried and I had a third child and he's done two music videos on YouTube, which you can see. And all you have to do is type in YouTube for Ovadia Fleischman. And they're dedicated to the great superstar singer-songwriter, Neil Diamond. They're his, they're his personal impersonations of Neil Diamond. And coincidentally, and uh, happily, my son kind of resembles Neil Diamond in his youth when he was pounding the streets of New York City before he got into Bang Records and uh, when he grew up in Brooklyn. And his father, Akiva, as you all know, was a haberdasher and he had a little shop named Diamonds in Brooklyn. And my son, Ovadia Fleischmann's father, who's now currently deceased, was also a haberdasher and owned a clothing store here in the South, in Fayetteville, North Carolina. And that's the city where my son, Ovadia, and I currently live. At any rate, I wanted the United States and the world to know a little bit about my heartfelt feelings and my son Ovadia's great talent and love of music and he also plays the piano very well. 
um, he has a God-given gift and a talent because he has high functioning autism and he's a very sweet young man and he lost his father tragically in an automobile accident on the interstate highway I-95 here in North Carolina in a town called St. Paul, named St. Paul's back in September 2007, three days before my 53rd birthday. That will be a day that my son Ovadia Fleischman and I will never forget. A day that will live in our hearts and in infamy. God bless all of you for listening to my heartfelt story, which is all the truth. And I have lived through many, many things in my life, which have only proven to make me a stronger woman. I came from very humble beginnings myself, just like Neil Diamond did. I grew up in New York City in the borough of Queens, and I was a shy little girl and uh, it's very unfortunate that Neil Diamond and I never had the good fortune to meet when we were both young. As you may have read online that he was born in 1941 and I was born in 1954. I'm only 13 years younger than Neil Diamond and I'm one of his greatest fans. And we both have a similar history. My grandparents came from Poland and Russia. They came here on steerage ships in 1912. And my grandmother left a legacy to me as her oldest granddaughter. Eleanor, never give up. Keep hope alive. And someday you'll gain recognition, perhaps, and maybe you'll become a small celebrity or a small public figure that people will finally respect and recognize. I rest my case for now, and I wish you all the very best from the bottom of my heart. Amen.